me poppin', I'm a blossom I don't need a bop, mine to my robbery I'm official, on a dotty You can hit a room, room in my robbery I'm not sorry, no, I'm not sorry It's official, I'm a problem I don't need a dis- Hey Royals, welcome back to my channel. As you all see by the title, today's video is going to be a little vlog and vlog. Turn right onto East 40th Street. Okay. It's going to be like a transformation. Y'all see me. I'm looking crazy. Be honest, I'm looking crazy. I'm so excited because somebody actually reached out to me from my city or whatever and they wanted to like do my hair and for us to vlog it. So that's what's happening. And I'm excited. So this is my hair right now. I had to come uh, washed and blow dried. Y'all know I try not to do as much heat on my hair. So I did it like, I blow dried like about halfway and then I let the rest air dry detangle and just like put them in a twist to just make it a little bit easier I'm excited I will see the hairstyle I'm getting if y'all can guess just comment down below what you guys think I'm gonna get Book y'all appointments. Follow me on IG at Brie Official. All right. Period. Look at that so soft. Hey, thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> Every time I hear John about the whole nothing. <laughs> Lord, your hair is so soft. This lighting is everything. <laughs> For real. I just want to say thank you so much to my good sis again for reaching out to me and doing my hair. I truly appreciate it. It was such a great experience. The customer service was amazing. It was great conversation. A great playlist, honey. She slayed my hair, the parting, oil my scalp, fleeks my edges, everything. All of her information will be down in the description box below. If you're in the Ohio, Cleveland area, make sure you check her out. She's definitely got a returning customer out of me because it was just such a good vibe and I just appreciated the environment, the conversation, all that good stuff. But anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying and make sure you check her out. No, it just no way. Turn the camera, the music off. Excuse my car. <laughs> yes. You like them? Bad. I want these. You like them? Yes. Here we are right now. No longer seventeen. Have we been around? Got some years on us And a new bell as a sea So we hear that I still appear inside your dream land Weird that I still appear inside your sleep band Does he know about our time inside your ram cycle And that I'm on the way where the night goes Today I woke up and I realized I don't give a f And when I say that, I don't mean it in the cool, the cool I don't give a f way. I wish I meant it in that way. But I don't. Let's date back to high school. I cared how I looked. I cared about like my grades. I feel like right now I don't care and I don't like that. Yes, I'm on YouTube, but I'm not on YouTube. You know what I mean? Like, yes, I run a business, but I'm not running a business. It's so weird because it's like, I really have a lot to rethink. I just feel like I'm so stuck. What is my life, in a sense? Even though just yesterday, it all made sense to me. But today when I woke up, it no longer made sense. It was no longer fitting. And I don't know if that's normal. It makes me sad because it's like, 
am I ever gonna be satisfied with what I'm giving myself? I was looking at old videos too and like, I didn't hide my apartment. When I first moved into my apartment, I was so proud because you know, it's my first apartment. I did it all by myself, credit wise. But it's like now, I, cut, I catch myself hiding my apartment and it's like, why? I'm afraid of what you guys may think because I'm not living this luxurious life. Even though I can, I know you all can tell that. And I'm not like ashamed because I know I'm, I like I don't give off rich bitch vibes. I was at that at one point, like not even a year ago. I was so proud of like this accomplishment and now I hide it. It's time for me to start caring. There's so many things that I'm like letting go of, which ultimately fumbles so many bags. Also, like I was having a really good conversation the other day because, okay, I'm gonna be like really transparent right now. I have a video on my channel that's like really old and it's called like how I, I saved $10,000 working minimum wage jobs, right? So I am the oldest of three children. It's always the hardest on the oldest child, but it makes them better in the long run. Your parents are literally figuring everything out. So basically, I was made to be very independent. My battery's about to die. But moral of the story, independent. When I went to college, a lot of things happened like with cars and other things where it's like I needed to save money. And like I started to treat money like an emergency thing. I would save like 80 to 90% of my money because I felt like there was always gonna be something that happened. And I, not only did I did not want to, but I felt like I couldn't call and ask anybody for money. That's just like my relationship with money. And it's like, I feel like I've been saving like that since I was like probably 16 so y'all can only imagine I was gonna bring up a very important moment over this past weekend where I was trying to figure out how to like not get rid of my savings account but like I want to do something more so I was talking about other business ventures and like things that I really want to do I'm like ready to invest in myself on like a next level type of situation like I want to do some investments maybe take a chunk of my money and put it into like an IRA like I have to do some true research on this stuff but like I was thinking of like a service-based business like you know just really time for me to like sit down and like figure this stuff out because I really I'm ready Ready. ready to take myself to the next level like I'm 24 so if you couldn't tell my camera died but moral of the story I'm really really considering new business ventures and leveling up as well as like spoiling myself at the same time I'm not even playing myself no more because I keep telling y'all these things but like I don't actually commit to it but today y'all ever wake up with like vengeance and like that's how I woke up today and like I really feel very passionate now that your girl is free in the name of self-care I'm on my way to go and get my nails done I know I said I was done with the nail salons but baby that was a lie because I I am not a nail tech, you know, look good, feel good. The more I am look at myself and be like, okay, bitch, that's what I'm talking about. The more I feel inspired and all the other stuff. So, yeah, I don't know how comfortable I feel um, filming my nail experience, but hopefully I can at least get some. Do you have uh, availability for a full set? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I'm on my way now. Yeah, I'll be there in 10 minutes. Truth be told, I really don't want to go to this nail salon. Last time I went there, I told y'all, the last time I went there was the time that I went before like my birthday and like for my photo shoot and I really didn't like it. But hopefully I get somebody different or if not this time, I'm really just going to have to speak up and be like, this not it. Like I really don't like it. I have on my Hustle Soul Separately tee, which is a t-shirt that I sell on my site, www.crowncollections.com. So if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and click the link in the description box and shop. Okay, okay. All right, so now we're here. I'm just looking at some acrylic nail inspiration. Let me see. I'm gonna look up short acrylics first because I feel like short is genuinely what I can be responsible with, but maybe I'll try to get this because I like these I think those are cute so if I gotta choose me I won't be afraid to if I gotta choose me I gotta do what I gotta do when I love you I lose me now I can't be attached to you no more I like me better when I was yours I'm going back I'm going back I'm going back I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back to who I was before. I like me better, I like me better, I like me better, yeah, yeah. I like me better, I like me, I like me better when I was yours. Okay, hey guys, so I just came from TJ Maxx and somehow I managed to spend $100 with this little bag. But we're gonna go through everything I got. So I got some sponges. 
I got a phone case which well, she's super cute but I'm just nervous that it's gonna get like dingy but that's my phone case really cute then I got some gloves I don't typically wear gloves but I've been going outside with the kids lately and they've been like attacking me with snow and I don't wear gloves so I can't get them back but now defense I got this cute wallet which I think I showed you guys me picking this out it's a Kate Spade wallet um the lady had to like fix it <laughs> because the thing came off but yeah i need a new wallet because i've been going out sad it is huge though but i'm just going to connect everything to this and i got some stud earrings because i don't know if you guys have been noticing but i haven't been wearing earrings but it came with three pair and i do have three holes at least in one of my ears the other one my top hole closed i have to go get that repairs the eyebrow pencil I got some masks for my feet because I do want to give myself like a pedicure. Last but not least, I got this really cool like um, facial roller massager. Really excited to use it. So yeah, that's everything I got from TJ Maxx. Um, I'm about to call my sister and see what she's doing because she was talking about coming over to just like help me organize and stuff because she's really organized. Hey Siri, FaceTime sissy, pink heart. So she didn't answer, and it's a high possibility that she might stand me up and we might not hang out, but hopefully we do. But yeah, so she just didn't answer. I need, where's my air? You already know. You're just too good to be true. I want to hold you so much. Oh, I need you, baby. I've been contemplating, meditating. Today gonna be a good day. Today gonna be a good day. I'ma wake up and I'ma get paid. No competition, yeah, she's super fine. The mama know her work. You can't finesse her. Another part of like this whole process, I also want to really like just get rid of clothes that no longer like serve what I'm going for, you know what I mean? And when I say get rid of the stuff that is it's possible to give away, I'm gonna give away um etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So right now I'm just taking off all my bracelets and watch and accessories and stuff. Um yeah i'm just gonna basically make a few piles i'm gonna make like a giveaway pile a keep pile a throwaway pile type of situation so when she calls when she calls when, when she calls, calls. <laughs> when she calls mm -hmm. All right. there's a knock on the door it's like who can it be but then they say it's for you it's like it cannot be okay. it's like 7 a.m damn who can it be who it's you, it's like a fantasy Damn, I thought you came in three Well, I guess when I assume I make an ass out of you and me Just like I assume you throw that ass at me It's cheesy, but I know the corny pickups Will somewhere get you Either way, we'll run and dip off To the sunset and moonlight However way you pictured in the motion pictures I like the DVD main menu Fast forward to the best part Or your faith part You're that part, you're the best part You my apple pie, you my peach car With our car cars it's like this field with all odds I swear it's nothing to you It's nothing, it's nothing. I'm willing to bet my forehand And I ain't bluffing, little boo Did that So basically what's happening right here You guys seen like a super sudden switch For me doing like folding and sorting clothes to just me cooking dinner first of all i was hungry and also i was not having the best day ever so i tried a new method i was like you know what instead of me sitting here and like going through this by myself um i try to find like a in between a happy medium so i text my friend and i was like hey do you have wine and she's like yeah i'm like do you want to have a virtual you know wine night and she was like yeah so instead of like stepping too far out of my comfort zone to call and vent instead it was like okay let's just have a good conversation like let me just like have a good time you know what i mean so that's what i did and me and her we just talked laughed we had wine together via facetime and i cooked and ate dinner and when y'all tell y'all that spaghetti is the best spaghetti i've ever had in my entire life completely vegan so bomb like oh my goodness obsessed Last I was on this vlog, we were about to like separate my laundry and stuff, but then like I just had a moment, I need to take a step back. So um, I had like wine on FaceTime with my friend or whatever. 
and yeah so or that was not yesterday but the day before so now it's time for me to actually get back into these clothes so i figured i would turn on the camera and we would just go through everything those are all the clothes right there and stuff i also went to big lots yesterday because honestly i really wanted to have like a girl's day with my mom and stuff and like we do facials pedicures um cook you know have some like wine and stuff like that so i was trying to find a foot tub i didn't find a foot tub but I ended up finding this stuff. So I got myself an electronic toothbrush. I got some toothpaste. Oh, I got a speaker. Maybe I'll set my speaker up now. This is terrible. It's not gonna work. Also got some Dr. Teal's Pure Epsom Salt Soaking Solution. And then I also got, and that's also, that's shea butter and almonds. And then I got Dr. Till's foaming bath with pure Epsom salt. Let me smell it. Mmm, okay. Okay, yeah, it smells good. I really like shea butter and almonds stuff just because it's like really moisturizing. I'm about to, I'm about to listen to my music and just basically go through these clothes because I, it's time for me to like force a level up, force a transformation physically and mentally and all that. So yeah, we're going to start here. So I just switched my batteries. I'm starting to feel like I need three batteries instead of just two. But um, I was getting hungry because like I told y'all, it's the morning time. Hopefully the lighting like clears up a little bit. So um, I brought out, cause I, bought a, I went grocery shopping and I bought a pineapple. So I'm about to just like cut this. This like angle is so trash. So one thing about it y'all, I really, have like nearly no counter space and that pisses me off that's why like i don't know the exact situation and what i'm aiming for at this point but i really want to move and i'm going to move but yeah so and i'm also watching this girl her name is anaya i think anaya forever maybe or i could be tripping but on youtube if anybody knows her i'm just gonna let y'all watch me cut up my fruit and then i also have a container here these strawberries i'll probably eat all of them this morning, but the remainder of the pineapple will go in here. detox water because but unfortunately I don't have actual like I don't have a fresh lemon but I do have wait just wait on it I do have lemon juice so but I didn't realize that this was lemon juice like from con concentrate I thought it was like just like some straight up fresh lemon squeeze but whatever but yeah so I'm gonna just put it because basically this water bottle I got it from Marshalls it was like four bucks but it has this so I'm gonna put, I'm probably gonna have to cut the pineapple a little bit smaller. I'm gonna put some strawberries in there. That should be good for the strawberries. I'm gonna cut the pineapples in half again. As such, yeah, 
Break it down in there. Get some water. Yeah, that didn't even give me half. Put some lemon juice. That was a lot, but it's okay. As well as this and like when the rest of the pitcher get finished, like I just put some water into my filter pitcher. Once it's finished like filtering, I'm gonna fill it up and I'm gonna let this sit in the refrigerator until it's time for me to leave. And I'm just gonna have me a detox water all day. It's like lemon water with pineapple and strawberry. Um, if I had mint and stuff, I would add that, but I don't. So I'm just gonna work with what I have. I'll just shake it up and put it in the fridge. I'm so happy because I've been cooking a lot more. Like this week, it's, well, it's only Tuesday, but over the weekend I cooked, I think both days. I did order some food, but I deleted it. I've officially deleted the apps off my phone again, and I plan to stick to it. But I've been like actually enjoying cooking. Like, yeah, like you guys, I, I vlogged me making spaghetti with you guys or whatever. So freaking bomb. I, for some reason, like with me being a vegetarian, I've made spaghetti before, but I tried making it with like the meat crumbles, and I did not like that at all. But that time I made it. Um, I made it with like Italian, vegan Italian sausage, peppers, onions, um, spaghetti. I didn't even show y'all me seasoning everything, I don't think, but this might really be our hour long vlog because all this vlog is going together at this point. And we're just going to start off from the top. And the reason I didn't want to eat all that fruit is because number one, surprisingly, I'm not that hungry. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to eat this and then I also have a banana on stand, but I'm going to finish this laundry and i'll probably come back and show y'all eventually but as of right now it's still looking a mess but i just want to make sure that i get all of this stuff done because me and my mom are hanging out we're having our girls day today and i don't want her to get over here and feel like she needs to help me fold or anything because this is supposed to be relaxing for the both of us hey royals i miss y'all so much oh my gosh so I have my laptop. I sound so nasally. It's because this is my first time speaking since waking up. But I have my laptop and I'm about to open it and I'm happy and I'm excited and I'm praying that my stuff is still there. So let's see. <laughs> Thank you for the, uh, what we did. We replaced the parts listed below. Top case with battery space gray. Specific keys do not work. So yeah, let's make sure my stuff is working because Apple, what I don't want to have to do is play with y'all. Okay. Um. Ooh, my baby look brand new. My baby looking brand new. Now let's make sure she's not actually brand new. I don't think so. Let me make sure though. That's all my stuff still there. All right, y'all gotta go. I gotta edit. I gotta edit. Bye. So I brought my camera with the intent to vlog, but I forgot my memory card. So we're vlogging off of my phone. Sorry for the quality. I've been editing today. So other than editing, I ran to the post office to check on an additional package that I was sent so that I could do uh, my P.O. Box unboxing and just add all of the updated packages and I know for a fact that I have a package that was delivered to my P.O. Box but she was basically telling me that we're so 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 backed up Cleveland specifically that I know for sure of like I've been seeing so many articles about it so basically on my way to go get some food from this new um it's a new Jamaican place apparently and I'm really excited to try it I ordered a Rasta pasta with falafel replacement instead of like chicken and then I got a side of spicy fries as they call them so I'm excited to taste everything and see what they hit for so yeah I'm gonna come back Rasta pasta falafel and I'm dead that the falafels are sitting here like this but I really don't understand any other way they would have done it so that's that and then 
This is my side of spicy fries. Pasta good as hell. And then, I'm gonna try the falafel. What does it remind me of? The falafel? It's a falafel. It's okay. I'm gonna try it. Yeah, falafel would be good. Cool. I mean, it's good. I like your fries though. Yeah, my fries are good. This is good. This yeah. is like, it's only good. okay at first. But if you keep chewing it, it get better. Yes, chicken. Yeah, so my fries, they're like, it's like sweet chili sauce and hot sauce, she said. <laughs> then let me open up the pouch. Let me open up the pouch. Mm, this juice fire. That juice hit for some. Bro, why are there so many fries in there? Mm -hmm. I vlogged inside of the candy store as well. My <laughs> And the candy, they didn't have like the, as y'all can see on camera, like they didn't really have like typical candy store stuff, and that's probably because of COVID and whatnot, which makes sense. No, about any contamination. So I got three Reese cups because I just wanted some chocolate. I got two of these. I got this, this mini chocolate bar, and then some full no cup. No. Please tell the camera how much food you got left. How about you, fool? When did you get them Reese cups? When we was looking over for bag stuff. Mm. Show them all that food you got. Okay. This is all the food. Oh, wait. What's up, y'all? So, today your girl actually feels like taking some pictures. So, I'm like, let me. I don't know to what extent I'm about to do my makeup, but I'm about to do something. Oh, you know what? And my hair is like, it has the idea of the style that I want. I just got a message from my new dude. Well, you I question my blues, clues. I sat in the house and he said, come through. I jumped in the car and it was zoom, zoom. I think I pulled up too soon. I just sent a message saying, get me from the he came out to see me, he was confused That's when I realized that he wasn't shit You would tell me love and thought Tiana Only woman with a hundred on me How you play me for a fake hoe? New Chanel with the gator bonnet You tried it, got me messed up, you tried it She ain't even me, you tried it She can never be, you tried it Get the message, get the message, I'm gone That's when he found out that I am the shit You would tell me love and thought Tiana Only woman with a hundred on me How you play me for a fake hoe? New Chanel with the gator bonnet So basically, as you can see, the gosh darn lashes won. I couldn't get the lashes on. I tried and I even had help and it didn't work. So I wanted to, like, for some reason, like, I want to take pictures, but I don't feel like, I'm not feeling myself. Like, I don't feel ugly, but I don't feel picture ready. You know what I mean? Now is that we're about to make breakfast 
making two different breakfasts. I'm starting today. I'm doing like a well, I guess technically not starting today, but starting today, I'm shifting my mindset. So I'm doing like a 10 day challenge for like my health and wellness or whatever. So I'm gonna be doing a diet. I'll do a completely separate video on that or whatever, but. Yeah, so I'm going to just be having like fruit and water, but I'm about to make an omelet. So I figured I would show y'all the process. So this is one breakfast, a lovely omelet that I messed up while flipping, and some pineapple slices. And then this is my breakfast, it's just like a mini parfait with granola, almonds, pineapple, and some Greek yogurt, okay? So let's, well I'm about to dig in. I'm honestly thinking that this is going to be the end of this week's, I was going to say today's, but this week's vlog. If you're new to my channel, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, give this video a huge thumbs up, comment down below any questions, comments, concerns, video suggestions, and all that good stuff. I really miss you guys so, so much. And I'll be returned now that my computer's fixed and all the other stuff, a much needed break, but now that it's over, it's over, honey. The emoji of the day is going to be a sun. Let's do sun, let's brighten up the comment section, get it lit or whatever. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.